I recently built this RAG agent for one of my customers. This agent is trained on these 500 different PDF files. Now each of these PDF files have around like 500-600 pages each PDF file. So this one has like 100 different pages. Similarly each of these files have like hundreds and hundreds of different pages. So collectively all of these PDF files have more than 100,000 pages. Now this is a huge data at least for our use case. But this chatbot has to be very accurate and very specific about the information that it provides. So let's suppose if I ask any question from this chatbot. Now I want the answer to be really accurate and according to the PDF files that we have actually trained this chatbot on. Now this is a corporate level tool and everything and every single information that this chatbot generates should be really accurate. We cannot afford any sort of hallucinations because every single question that is being asked is related to a certain law which is mentioned in a certain PDF file. So let's suppose I ask this question and it just gave this answer and now this answer is generated from one of these PDF files that this chatbot was trained on. Now I can ask for a reference. Please provide a reference and now you can see it has provided a reference for this information that it provided. I created a very detailed video on this topic that how you can build a RAG agent from scratch absolutely for free. But in this video we are going to talk about what are the free vector databases out there that we can use to build this kind of RAG agents that can actually handle thousands of files absolutely for free. So if you have not watched the previous video I explained in detail that what is a vector database and why you need a vector database to build a RAG agent. So if you have missed that I highly highly recommend you watching that video before so you can actually understand this video in a better way. So to build this agent I used a vector database from Pinecon. Now Pinecon is an amazing platform to build this kind of rag agent where you have like thousands of different files so you can easily use like Pinecon to build vector databases but the only problem is the free plan might not be enough for you if you have let's suppose like 1000 files or like 500 files with like thousands of different pages. So to build a rag agent when you have like thousands of files you might have to like pay $25 per month. Month. But in this previous video, a lot of you were actually asking for any free alternative for this vector database. Instead of paying for Pinecon, a lot of you are actually asking for a free alternative. Then I did my research and found a platform that can actually work for you. If you have like 1000 different files or maybe like 10,000 different files, you can easily create a vector database absolutely for free. So the name of this platform is Quadrant. Qdrent, I think it's Qdrent. So Qdrent.tech. So you can just like go to this website Qdrent.tech. Now before creating this video, I tested this platform properly. I created a vector database of the same files that I had already. And then I created a cluster in there. And this is right now you can see it is on free tier. And now you can see it offers me 4 GBs of disk space, which is like more than enough for me to upload any sort of files. And then like there is 1 GB of RAM, which is quite a bit low, but this is good enough for you to like have a RAG agent. And then there is a CPU. In here you can see all of my files occupied around 535 MBs and I still have like 3.5 GPs free that I can actually use like th there is a free space available and similarly in terms of RAM you can see I have enough space and similarly in terms of CPU as well you can see the usage is not that much so that means even if you have like a huge 10,000 PDF files maybe like a huge directory of books you can like create your RAG agent absolutely for free using Qdrent and now let's suppose if at some point because as soon as your user base will actually increase your usage will increase now you'll have to like scale so as soon as like you'll have to scale you can simply just like scale like you won't have to change anything you can just like scale up cluster and you can simply click on that and then you can find the pricing as well but most probably you won't need that because these requirements are good enough for you to like keep going now to upload files on quadrant there is very simple process you can simply just i have created like a python script for you so you can simply just download this project from from github i have provided a link in there so there is a simple very simple python script that i have provided in here and then you can simply just like use this python script you can simply just like download download this project and then open it inside your computer there is an, an environment variables for file as well i'll just try to like hide my environment variables just go to env file and in here you need to provide open api key then you need to like provide the quadrant api key then you need to provide quadrant url and then you need to provide quadrant correction name all of this information you can find inside your quadrant dashboard creating an open api key is also not a rocket science so you can simply just like do that as well just like get this script open this inside like a simple terminal and then run this script and then that's it that's it that you need to upload your files on Qtrend. now before you run this script just make sure that you have your files folder available on your computer make sure that all of your files are available in a folder 
one more thing that just makes sure that all of these files should be in a proper format. If you're like uploading docs files or like PDF files, just make sure that all of these files in proper format. This script is for PDF files only, so just make sure that your PDF files, there is no invalid file. So let's suppose if there will be any invalid file which is not in a proper PDF format, so this script will just skip that particular file, then move to the next file. So just make sure that all of your files are in a proper format. So once everything's ready, just provide a link of your directory where your files are located, where your folder is and then simply just copy that and then paste that inside this load documents.py so in here just provide your folder url and that's it then you can simply just run your script and then it might take maybe like half an hour or maybe an hour based on depends on like total file size that you have and then after that it will automatically upload your entire data inside qtrend so yeah this was a free alternative of pinecon just give it a try and if you have any further questions about building rag agents just leave your comments in the comment section if you have any questions just leave your comments in the comment section. I see you next video. Bye-bye.